China's Z-20 helicopter is a prime example of modern military reverse engineering. Its story deeply intertwined with the legacy of the U.S.-made Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk. Developed by Harbin Aircraft Industry Group, a subsidiary of Aviation Industry Corporation of China, the Z-21 took to the skies in 2013 and drew global attention not just for its capabilities, but for its unmistakable resemblance to the Black Hawk. But how did China go from from buying a handful of U.S. helicopters in the 1980s to flying its own fleet of Black Hawk lookalikes today. Let's rewind. Back when relations were warmer, China purchased civilian Sikorsky IS-70 C-2 helicopters, essentially export versions of the Black Hawk. The People's Liberation Army flew them for years, studying every nut, bolt, and rotor blade. Fast forward, and suddenly, China rolls out the Z-20 in 2013, a helicopter that just happens to to share the Black Hawk's silhouette, cabin, and landing gear. Coincidence? Not exactly. But here's where things get interesting. The Z-20 isn't just a copy. Chinese engineers didn't stop at mimicking, they upgraded. Instead of four rotor blades like the Black Hawk, the Z-20 has five. That means better lift, better stability, and the ability to fly in the thin air of the Tibetan Plateau. It's also one of the first Chinese helicopters to feature a fly-by-wire control system, making it easier to handle and harder to crash. It's powered by locally built WZ-10 turboshaft engines, giving it more horsepower than the U.S. original. This allows it to operate above 4,000 meters, perfect for high-altitude missions along the Himalayan border. The design tweaks even include a reshaped tail joint to boost cabin space and improve lift. Avionics? Digital? Survivability? Enhanced? We're talking radar and missile warning systems, chaff and flares, composite blades with de-icing, basically a fully modernized package. And while America's Black Hawks inspired the original, the Z-20 is now spawning its own variants, naval versions, assault versions, anti-submarine versions, even a Coast Guard version that's already patrolling the South China Sea. Sound familiar? That's because the lineup eerily mirrors U.S. equivalents like the Seahawk. And then there's the elephant in the room. Some analysts believe China didn't just learn from its S-70 fleet. They may also have picked up valuable lessons from the wreckage of a U.S. stealth Black Hawk left behind in Pakistan during the 2011 raid on Osama bin Laden's compound. Officially, Beijing denies it, but if true, that would explain how the Z-20 managed to leapfrog into the 21st century so quickly.